So today I'd like to show you something really cool about the Astro framework and it's about the possibility to integrate other frameworks into your Astro project. You can use for example Angular and React as a tier, but also you're not limited to this. Uh, you can also use for example Vue or Swell or Preact. So you have quite a lot of freedom in these terms. All you need to do is basically uh, in your Astro config. As you can see here, I added a React integration and also an Analog.js Angular integration, which comes from the Analog.js team. So you need those kind of integrations in order to make it work. Once you have that set up, you can simply write basically Angular components and also React components and then use them in your Astro components. And that's exactly what I did here. You can see I have here an Angular component, here I have my React component. Important uh, to be sure that they are um, functioning with interactive JavaScript, you must add the client directive in Astro, otherwise those components will be uh, static and they don't have any interactivity. Having that said, let's take a look at the Angular implementation. Both the components, the Angular and the React component, they do the same, they look the same, also from the template wise. We have the image of this framework, um, we display the count, and then we have a button which increments the, the counter. In order to uh, to communicate state changes, I am using a library called NanoStores. You can create an atom which can hold any arbitrary value that you that you want to store. In my case, it's a count, and then we can use this atom anywhere across our, our application. So for React, there's a dedicated um, NanoStores React library that we can use here. We use the use store hook to get a reference on the count, and then we can we can listen on the count, but also we can use it to increment it and then it's going to be displayed here. For Angular, we have something similar. We also have here a nanostore slash Angular package, which allows us to use nanostores within our Angular context. We can do it like this. We can use the nanostore service dot use store, which receives the, the atom that we would like to read, in our case, the count. And then we basically just display it here in our template. And that's basically it. Uh, now you can you can click around here and you can see that the value is incremented from every component and the state is shared uh, across the whole application. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about and whether you think this is useful.